Hi, in this tutorial, we will see how we can use the Hit BTC API to automate our trading or get data. So, first of all, about Hit BTC, it's a cryptocurrency exchange operating since 2013. It, it has a, a variety of coins and tokens, uh, and it has a, an API that we can use it with Python. And uh, here it has the option for Python. So if you need to see uh, what the code should be, you can get uh, an idea from what what is here. Uh, but I will go through some of the um, things we can do with the API. So um, first of all, I just have my imports. So uh, what you need to do first is to go to your settings after you um, log into your account uh, you go to your settings and then uh, you can activate an API and you get an API key and a secret key and what I've done is just written them in a separate file and I'm importing them here I import hit BTC keys and requests is a library we are going to use which is uh, can get the URLs and uh, you can read the documentation if you need more information about it and to start we will have a request that session and authorization for uh, this session and we you copy the public key and secret key if you want to copy directly here you can just put them in quotes like this or like this and then it's okay um, so what I'm going to explain is uh, first how, is how to get the, all the uh, available cryptocurrencies on HitPTC the command is session.get and uh, this is the URL API to public currency and you can see this in uh, market data, data currency so here it says uh, if you want all the currencies you can go here and if you want a specific currency you can use this one and just replace it here so if we print this if we get a JSON with uh, all the uh, cryptocurrencies av available but probably what is more important for us if you want to do algorithmic trading is to get a uh, historical prices and to do that is uh, we will use the uh, candles uh, URL so it's uh, like this API to public candles and the symbol and then uh, I want to get the historical prices for Tron to uh, Bitcoin and uh, to pass the parameters and there are only two parameters limit limit is uh, how many bars how many uh, price points you want in the past and what time frame you would like to have for your uh, historical prices so I, I want uh, the one hour prices early pr uh, prices so I put h1 and then dot JSON and if you print it we get a JSON response and if you need ticker information which is the exactly the current moment information based on the symbol so we have the ticker like this and then turn to bitcoin.json and if we print it we get a json so uh, what i do here is make a data frame and for a better visualization so import import pandas as pd and then uh, for the historical prices i make a data frame and then just uh, convert the data date time the timestamps to a more readable format uh, pd to date time also setting it as the index we get the um, table that we would like to have so close high low and open this is the format we get the prices so this is how we get the historical prices and if you want to send an order which I'm, I haven't executed but uh, you can also have a look at it in the 
and uh, documentation here it says uh, so you can create a new order so how you pass the information is in a dictionary and uh, with the data is equal to your dictionary and you pass a symbol which side you want to sell or buy and how much you want to buy or sell and the price if you want to have a limit order but if we want a market execution we don't need this we will buy and sell at the market price so and then you use a post method instead of get and you will order what the the buy or sell order and if you want to cancel the purest orders if you want to cancel all of them or if there's only one you can use this one and you will use delete method request that delete and this will delete all the uh, previous orders but if you want um, a specific order then you you will use another uh, method and that's by client order so you will have this uh, the number the ID of the uh, order like here so you just put it there or if you you can also code it that every time you have an order you save it to a uh, variable and then you can recall it from their variable I hope it, this was helpful and um, for algorithmic trading I have made another video uh, using Binance API it's only the difference is the, the API part the rest is the same so you can watch that one if you want to automate your trading thank you for